Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. I'm Dee. I'm Kier. And welcome to day two of our energy journey. And um, before we jump into things, I just wanted to um, give a little bit more information that I felt that I left out yesterday. And I just want you guys to know that each day, uh, each day's video is going to entail something a little bit different. Okay. Um, and not every day are we going to be doing an exercise or an activity. Some days we're just going to do discussions because if we are doing something new every single day, it might get a little overwhelming. Okay. So every single day, what we're doing is we're massaging our energy. We're slowly shifting ourselves. So every single thing we're doing holds purpose and value. And we're taking it very, very slow to make this a process that we can all stick with and do and complete to the end and have that beautiful shift that we all desire. So I just wanted to put that out there. And how are you doing? I'm doing really good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to Me it. Me too. I'm really excited. All right. So everybody, today we are going to do a couple of fun things. These are easy things. The exercises will get a little more challenging as we move through. But today we are going to pick a new symbol as well as a new angel number. Now, if you already have a symbol or an angel number, we're picking a new, new energy, okay? And um, Kier was actually telling me about repeating numbers and how they speak to her because they speak to us all a little differently. So why don't you share that with us? Um, every time I'm feeling down or sad or anything of the sort, I will just like look at the clock or the date and I will just see like a repetitive number and I just like take that as a sign, like everything's gonna be okay. Is it a specific number or is it just repeating number just in general? Like, yeah, I would say like for me, it's just like in general, any repeating numbers, 111, um, 222 or 333 is like really big. I see that more often, but I normally just take it as a sign from like any repeating number. Okay. Yeah. So see, spirit will use numbers, symbols to speak with us. And you've got to understand that what those numbers mean for her isn't what they're going to mean for me or for you. Spirit has a way of creating a language with just you and the meaning of a heart or a bird, a clover, numbers is different for you than it is for her or for me. So um, really start paying attention to that when you're feeling any specific way, whether good or bad. Um, See what is synchronistic in your reality because spirit, if you're feeling sad, you're feeling low, spirit's going to want to help lift you up immediately, all right, and give you um, signs, you know, it's okay, we're going to be okay, things like that. So really start paying attention to the language in which spirit uses with you because it is special and unique. And moving forward through this series, um, you're really going to become much, much more aware of that because spirit does want to talk to you um, to the point where like you won't even need to watch one of these videos or anything like you'll just know you'll just know it will just be a beautiful connection between you and spirit. And that's my ultimate goal for this series for everybody is to just strengthen that existing connection that everybody has with spirit. So um, we need to pick new angel number and a new symbol. My symbol used to be the butterfly. And I would say 1111 was a number I that stuck was, with for a long time. Yeah. So <laughs> um, think about it. What's your new number? What's your new number and new symbol going to be? Um, I, I think I'm going to go with a heart. Mm -hmm. um, and I would say 333. Three, three. Just because it's repetitive and that's not like what I see significantly. So all right. Um, I am going to use the number three two three. So any times I, I see threes, twos, all threes or all twos, I know that's something very special from spirit. And I am going to um, pick a frog as my new symbol. So write down in your journal, all right. Um that we talked about yesterday, write down in your journal, um, your new number with spirit, your new symbol, and then also start notating 
when you are seeing these things and not just your symbol number, but anything synchronistic and repetitive, start notating it in your journal so that you have track of it. Okay. And also we are going to start gratitude jars. Okay. Um, and I already, I put, uh, something special that happened that feels magical to me in here. And what these gratitude jars are intended for is for you to, um, like write down something special or magical that happened in your day. And it could just be like the sunrise was just absolutely breathtaking. Um, or like for me the other day, I went out to check my mail, the mailboxes for like a few houses are right in front of my house. And I found a dollar that was pretty cool. Just stuff like that, you know, just little blessings or big blessings. And, um, this is where the post-its will come in handy um, and make sure they're non-stick so you can fold them. And if you don't have post-its, you could just take a larger piece of paper and cut it down. And then just each day going forward, try to put something in there. Do you, do you have something that you can throw in there right away? Yeah. Um, I would just say that I am grateful for the help I get with my baby today. So that would be nice. Yes, yeah, see, she actually has, she um, is a full-time mom, and today her cousin um, agreed to watch the baby for a little bit so that she could come over here and we could get this done, and she didn't have to worry about anything instead of um, waiting till later in the evening when her husband gets home. So um, that is a good, see, easy blessing right into the jar. And so um, through the whole series, I want to fill these because at different points, we're going to look at some of the things that we've been collecting and we might have even forgotten about them by the time we get back in to this uh, jar. So um, gratitude jars, new symbol, new number. And then um, also we're going to write a gratitude list of 30 things in our journal today. Okay. Um, and leave room. So um, make an entry in your journal for the um, 30 things you are grateful for. And um, I actually, I actually already did that. Okay. And I, so I just uh, put some things in mind. And so leave room, okay, um, in your journal because we're going to add to this. But this is, is really important because um, the whole point of writing a gratitude list is to get you into the energy, the vibes of that. Okay. So if you're just like, okay, I'm going to just write this list and you have no corresponding emotion behind it, it's really not going to have much impact when you're writing this list. I really want you to take the time and feel the energy of what you're grateful for. Okay. And there is so much to be grateful for. And, you know, I've had times in my life where, um, I was actually homeless at one point. Okay. And so sometimes it's just like a warm bed to sleep in a hot shower, warm coffee, breakfast, um, lunch money, you know, just anything, um, a friend, somebody who cares about you. And as you're writing this list, really feel the emotions of it and let it just wash over you. Okay. Because it, it will shift. It will matter. You will feel a difference. And we're going to add more to the gratitude list later on down the road. But, um, this is just a really good exercise to put yourself in those vibes and for you specifically to see what you feel like before you intentionally set yourself to go into those good vibes of happiness, of gratitude, all of that stuff. Okay. So, um, also today, um, and every day going forward, make sure that you are journaling about your day, just little tidbits of thoughts, um, how you're feeling. If you were feeling down, if you've gotten triggered throughout the day, if you were um, feeling a lot of resistance or if it was just a really good day, everything was going wonderful and why that is, um, because it matters. It really does. And, you know, the act of writing is so powerful. And there's actually an exercise we're going to do later in the series on that specifically. But the act of writing is very, very powerful. And as you're writing um, your gratitude stories, gratitude in your journal or just about your day, like 
you're just in these vibes. I don't even know how to articulate it, but do you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. How I, you... I feel like um, when I'm upset or sad, I definitely try to remember what I'm grateful for. And like, sometimes it's just that like I have food in my fridge. I um, like, I can cook dinner every day cause I enjoy cooking. Um, just like the little things. Like I just remind myself of any little thing that I like enjoy doing or I love that like it's there and I don't need to worry. And like slowly I start to feel better. Mm -hmm. so. All right. And with that, when we do realize that we're feeling bad or just low and negative, and again, you can't pretend you don't feel what you feel. Okay. And I, I want to make that very, very clear. You've always got to acknowledge the truth of what's going on inside of you. Because if you try to act like it's not there, you're creating resistance. But when you acknowledge, okay, yes, I'm, I'm just, I'm not in it today. I'm not in the vibes today. That's all right. Acknowledge that. And when you're feeling that way, that's the time to give yourself more love, more sensitivity, not beat yourself up, not tell yourself you're doing it wrong. But you know what? I'm just today. I'm in these vibes. I accept that. And now I'm going to choose to try to elevate myself. And that is another exercise is when you're vibing down here, doing what you can to take yourself up to here. And again, it's not denying what you feel. It's accepting that it's there. Therefore, it can flow through you and then choosing to switch your thoughts to something higher vibrational to help pull you up out of that vibration. Because every emotion, whether negative, positive is a vibration of energy and you can jump vibrations. I mean, we've all had those days where we've just been through a whole array of different emotions. You're just jumping off of all kinds of different vibrations. So are you, there's been times when you're really happy, everything's great. And then here comes the salty Sally and it ruins your day and, and you, right. But is it a choice to let that person pull you down? It is. Do I want to say, okay, I'm not going to let your vibe impact mine that, you know, whatever. Um, it's a choice. It really is. And, and the more that you become aware of the different vibrations of you, you'll learn how to navigate them more and shift out of them when, when you need to. Mm -hmm. All right. So always acknowledge how you feel. You have to, that's your truth at that time. And just in the, the acknowledgement itself, yeah. it, it really frees you. It really releases you. And then you can try to start elevating yourself from that point. And there is always a gift, a blessing inside every lesson or challenge. There always, always is. Absolutely. So do you have anything that else that you would like to add? Um, no, I think you touched on everything. You feel good? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we will be back here tomorrow with you guys um, to uh, talk live in the chat. Um, and I hope you guys are doing well. And I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Me too. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.